In this video, you're going to learn how to create Instagram carousel posts in Canva. So first, let's open Canva and click Create to create a new document. We're going to design a carousel with 10 Instagram posts. Since Canva has document size limit for this tutorial, I'm going to make it 5400 by 1350 pixel. That gives us five posts in a row, each one 1080 by 1350, which is the standard Instagram size. So we'll use two pages to create 10 posts. Next, let's set up some guides so everything lines up nicely. Go to File, then Settings and click Add Guides. Choose Custom, set it to five columns with zero gap and click Add Guides. This way, you can clearly see where each post begins and ends. Now let's add some photos. Go to Uploads and drag and drop your photos from your computer. You can also organize them into folders, but to do that, you need to have at least one file uploaded. Once you do, you'll see the Folders tab, and from there, you can create a new folder and upload directly into it. Now, let's build our first layout. The simplest way is just to add a few vertical or horizontal images, something like a clean collage. To do that, we'll use grids. Go to Elements, type Grid, and pick one. I'll choose a simple grid with six vertical images. Select the grid and click Spacing to quickly adjust the grid spacing. And then, go to Upload and drag your photos into the grid. Once you're happy with the first page, create a new page by clicking Add Page and create a second layout. You can play around with a different arrangement here. Maybe a new image flow, some white space, a text box, shapes, lines, or other design elements. To add a border, select the element and click the stroke style icon. To change the color of the border, click Stroke Color. If you need to align an element, use a rectangle that covers one column. It will help you place elements exactly where they need to go. Create a rectangle by simply pressing the R key on your keyboard. Place it behind the element you want to align. Select both the element and the rectangle. Click Position and Under Arrange. Select Middle and Center. I'm going to add one more page just to show you some more useful shortcuts. You can reuse some elements from the previous page by copying them with Ctrl-C. Then click on the new page and paste the elements with Ctrl-V. I'm just rearranging some elements here to show you other options. and a few more Canva shortcuts to quickly add elements to the page. R for a rectangle. C for a circle. T for a text box.
L for a line. When your layouts are ready, it's time to split them into individual posts. I'll just quickly copy and paste two pages from one of my Carousel Canva templates. Okay, to split the layouts, we'll use Canva's built-in image splitter app. Go to Apps, type Image Splitter, and click on the icon. Click Export Design, select File Type, and the page you want to cut. This app only works on one page at a time. Once you've selected your page, click Export, Choose one row and five columns and click on Split Image. Save images to uploads. And repeat the same for the second page. Now, let's make a new Instagram post document, 1080 by 1350 pixels. Go to Elements, type in Grid, and pick the first one. Next, duplicate this page 9 times so you have 10 pages total. You can do this one by one or faster in grid view. Now, go to Uploads and drop your images into the grids. If they're out of order, no worries. You can just drag them into the correct sequence using the grid view. Once everything looks good, download your design. You now have an Instagram carousel ready to post. And here's how it looks once you upload it on Instagram. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more Canva tips and tutorials.